And actually, you know what? It actually sounds a lot nicer. Sounds very nice, very warm. Yes, hello and welcome to another video. I want to explain the process I go through before every new job I do, that everything works, everything as it should be. I get to the job and it'll all work and sound amazing. And since I've just got some new gear, I get to test it out. So let's go. First of all, as you saw on the opening clip, I charge all my batteries. And as you can see, there's one there still trying to charge. Go through my whole kit. My radio's in there, my uh, microphone's in there. I have my sound mixer. Pull this out of the bag, I will plug that in via that battery on there that's already charged. I will put one of these one of these sound cards in the in there. Check it, it's all working. I won't name any tracks as of yet because I don't know what the, the participants are called. The the guy who's editing it is the um, videographer, DOP director of it all, so he'll know who came first. So he'll know what, what sound, uh, what track take it is that I've done. So I don't need to name him, I'll just name as Radio 1, Radio 2, 3, 4, whatever. But te hopefully I'll be using two radios and one boom, but I will test all four radios <coughs> and both booms because if one doesn't work, I need to make sure the other one works. I'll show you it works. Yes. A few moments later. I've changed that from, as you can see, it used to be 200 and something from my last shoot. Changed it to scene one and then take one. Mix is there, mix there, and then radio, the boom. I've changed the boom to this boom, but I've listed it on me on my um, the file storage as. MKH50 because I'm going to test out my new MKH50 Sennheiser microphone as opposed to my 4 and 6 that I normally use and then I've chipped, deleted a load of um, inputs from radio 1 to 4 which were in channel 2 to 5 and then I've got a spare get them out of my box over there with the lavalier as you can see i got to test my I am and put it in the batteries in there to make sure that Rob, the director of this, can hear what I'm what I'm recording to make sure he's happy with what I'm recording. Because usually before that he was like, how's it sound? And I'll say, yeah, I like it on a set of earphones, which is why I've got that. So we're gonna put the wires in those four there. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna do one at a time because rather than using up all my batteries, do that. Um, I'm going to test that, plug in that, that microphone and that microphone, which is my MKH50 is there, my 416 is there, just to make sure that I'm getting signal. And once I've got a signal, I'm happy. I will test all the lavaliers in the one radio to make sure the lavaliers work, and then we're happy. So I'll talk, get back to you when I've done that. A few moments later. So, as you can see, I'm talking into this boom and the boom, the, there is power there. So I know now that this um, microphone actually is working very, very well, which I'm happy about. Um, I'm going to do another video to do a comparison between this, this microphone and that microphone. I'll unplug this and plug that one back in and we'll see how it sounds. So this is the MKH50 and actually you know what it actually sounds a lot nicer sounds very nice very warm very off you can see how it's uh very off it sounds very warm this I'm definitely using this uh, tomorrow it's grabbing quite some lovely sound and as you can see it does work still that's for 50 I've listed it as a four and six you know as a 50 for tomorrow and I'm as you can see I am talking into my radio one, like this, talking into my radio one, which is a COS 11. 
um, and it's actually coming up really nice on there. I've still got my 50 MKH50 plugged in because I thought, why not? I'll have to just reduce the, the sensitivity per interviewee. It all depends, you have to change it because I don't know how they sound. So I'll change it as and when on the day. It'll take two minutes to change it. Um, probably use that mic, that, probably use that IEM when I'm doing it to make sure it sounds good. So as I said before, I'm trying the IEM. This IEM is working. As you can see, the frequency there is going through the signal. Um, this is radio two, and you can see radio two there is moving. So I know, so I know now as well. The second radio works perfectly well with the Cos 11. Very happy with this. Now I'm going to flick over to the radio three and four. You don't need to see that. But what's what the scenario is and everything like that. A few moments later. So as you saw from all that. Now I know that everything works super duper. Now I'm currently char um, uh, charging my two time cold boxes. One is one needs charge as you can see it flashing, one's done. I am gonna have to get something so I can do another one. I can charge them within my box. But that's just another thing. But the whole scenario is make sure the batteries are charged. Make sure everything works, and they do, they work, all works. Make sure the two microphones work. Make sure this is all ready and sorted. You can still see here the microphone is still going, it's still picking up, which is great. Um, I need to charge that, which is good to know. Um, so I'll charge it up shortly, I'll put them back in. They're done, so I'll put them away. Um, so everything is working as it should be, which is superb. It's all I wanted to make sure everything was fine. So tomorrow when I get there, I know that it's working and nothing should go wrong. As I said, I can see the main power for this in there. All times now. I've got my radio down there, radios in there. I've got my, my mixer there. But everything I need to do the job in hand. It's just forever growing. Um, don't know why this why I started doing all this but I did and I feel like I'm going down a rabbit hole uh, well that's my process of checking everything works before I do a shoot I hope this is enjoyable and helped you know what you should do before you do a shoot as a Ricardis one-man band hope this is enjoyable hope this is it's helped Harrison between the 416 and the MKH 50 so as I said earlier, thank you and let's get it. Goodbye.